What's going on people, Switchbrew here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make forwarders on your Nintendo Switch. So what this basically is, is in your albums folder you have your homebrew apps. So basically what it does is this creates an NSP file, so it allows you to quickly launch it from your Nintendo Switch dashboard, rather than heading over into the album section to launch it. So before we even get started on this guys, what you want to do is you want to first head over to Tinfoil. Um, because these NSPs are unsigned you're going to need to enable install unsigned code so to do this what you want to do is you want to head over down to the options section in tinfoil once you're at the options section you want to scroll down and find install unsigned code once you've found this yours may possibly say no if you already haven't activated it so what i'm going to do is on the screen now i'll put up the master key for tinfoil to enable unsigned code once you've put this master key in you should see yes next to the install unsigned code section so once you've done this guys what you can do is just head back to the dashboard of your nintendo switch another thing you're going to need is the product keys for your Nintendo Switch console. Now, if you don't know how to dump your product keys, the previous video that I made, which I'll put in the video description, shows you how you can dump the product keys for your console. So once you've done all that, guys, what you want to do is then head over to the PC and I'll show you what to do from there. So guys, once we're back over at the computer, the first thing you'll want to do is download the folders creator.zip, which will be provided in the video description. You're going to need your product keys, which in a previous video I've showed you how to extract from your Nintendo Switch console. You're also going to need some custom icons. Now, if I go into my custom icons folder, as you can see, there's a 90 DNS logo here and there is an Edison logo here, which you can already see on my Switch. However, I have created a new logo for the NX Themes installer. So this is the folder that I'm going to be creating today so we'll leave that here for now you can download pre-made folder icons from Google if you do a quick search however I tend to make these myself so if you guys are wanting to make them yourself you're going to need some type of designing software to make images and the details for this is the images need to be 256 by 256 and once complete they need to be saved as a JPEG file so once you've done this guys what you want to do is grab the folders creator.zip from the video description and you want to go and extract that to somewhere appropriate so i'm going to extract it to my desktop once you've got that on your desktop i'm going to go ahead and delete the zip file so the product keys file from your nintendo switch what you want to do is go ahead and drag that into the folders creator folder once you've done that you want to open this up and you can launch the exe file and as you can see down here for the product keys path, it says my desktop folders create a folder and product keys. So we know that's loaded correctly. So the first thing that you'll want to do is give the application a name. So I'm just going to call this NX Teams for short. The author's name, you can either put your name in there or, for example, the author who created the original software. So if I head to the Switch Theme Injector, or the NX Themes Installer, I can see that this is the person is who has created it. So I'm going to copy and paste this guy's username. And I'm going to put this into the author name. Now the title ID, you can press random a few times or you can just leave it with the one what's already been generated, but I'm going to click random a few times. <clears throat> now the icon path is the icon which you have created. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to browse. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to navigate to my folders icon folder. I'm going to choose nxthemes.jpg. The logo path, I leave this blank, but there is something you can do with this. I'm not too sure if it's when you launch an application and you've got the little Nintendo Switch thing in the corner spinning about. I'm pretty sure you can change that with this, but I normally leave it as blank. So because this is just a standard application, I'm going to leave this standard NRO folder. However, if, for example, if you've got RetroArch installed, I know that you can create folders folders, sorry, for games for RetroArch. So then what you want to do is you want to come down here to the NRO path. Now for this, as you can see, it says switch and then the application name dot NRO. So if I navigate to my Nintendo Switch console, which I've got plugged in the computer and head over to the micro SD card, 
If I go into the switch folder, as you can see here, we have got NX themes installer. So if I copy, so if I rename this and take the NX themes installer name of the file and click copy, what I'm going to do, uh, obviously that is stored in the switch folder on my SD card. I'm then going to take away the application section and copy this. And that then sets a directory to that following path. So as you can see, if I go back, you've got switch and then NX themes installer.nro. Once I've done that, guys, that's pretty much all you need to do. And then what you want to do is go ahead and click create forwarder. So once you press create forwarder, it's going to pop up, pop up, sorry, with a window like this. I'm just going to close this down. And then I'm going to close the following application and head back to the folders create folder. If I then jump into the NSP folder, as you can see here, this is the file that it's created. So then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and either plug your switch in and boot into Timfoil and install it that way. Or you can, I'm pretty sure you can install it somehow via Hecate, but I always use the Timfoil side of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my micro SD card. I'm going to close that down. I'm going to head over to my micro SD card. If I can find it there on switch. And if I go ahead and just go to the install section, I'm pretty sure you could also use DBI for this if needed. So what I'm going to do is head over to the install section. And what I'm going to do is go back into the folders, create folder, head over to NSP. And I'm then going to drag NX themes NSP over into this folder. What that's going to do then, guys, is this should automatically install this to my Nintendo Switch. So if I exit Timfall now, this should automatically pop up on my home screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my Nintendo Switch back into the dock so you can see it on the screen and I'll show you what to do from there. So guys, once you're back on the Nintendo Switch, as you can see, I am still in Timfall from transferring the nx themes installer forwarder what you want to do is go ahead and press the home button and if i close down tinfoil as you can see here we have got a nx themes nsp which is a forwarder for the nx themes installer application so if i go ahead and click a on the following thing it should load it up When loading this application, unfortunately, it says key extraction from FS failed. I believe this is because it doesn't like the forward for this application. And I don't think it will work correctly when trying to use it. However, you get the gist from the forwarder I have just created. And you can do this with many other homebrew applications. Now, one issue I have found with these forwarders is if I go back to the nintendo switch dashboard and go ahead and load for example 90 dns testing utility if i load this up normally if you press b it would exit the application however if i press b it just seems to continuously loop and reload the program so that is one issue i have found with these folders so to get rid of this, what I usually do is instead of obviously pressing B to exit, I just go ahead and click the home button, which then takes me back to the Nintendo Switch dashboard and then click X to close the following software and I go ahead and click close. This is one fault I've found with these NSP folders. I don't know if it's an issue that can be fixed or if it is, if it's something that I'm doing wrong. However, I have found it does it with most applications, for example, Edison, if I go ahead and load that up. And normally, if I click B, it would take me off the application and back to the dashboard. However, it just seems to reload it. So what, again, what I'll go ahead and do is just click the home button and then force close the software by clicking X. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching my video. Unfortunately, like I said, the NX themes shortcut or forwarder didn't work for some reason. I'll try and find a fix for this and possibly update the following video however i'm not sure it's an issue that can be fixed but from this video you can get the gist of how to create the um forwarders and you can do it for many other applications so yeah guys thanks for watching the video see you in the next one peace